Landmarks meeting is now called to order. Good morning. I'm Council Member Debbie Rose, and I will be chairing today's subcommittee on landmarks, public siting, and maritime uses, as Chair Member Ku is absent today. We are joined today by Council Members Levin, Barron, Mendez, and Council Member Menchaca. Today we will be hearing a pre-considered LU, the proposed 404 seat primary school siting in Council Member Menchaca's district. The proposed school will be located at Block 8, 836-41 5th Avenue in School District Number 15, Community Board 7 in Brooklyn. There is an existing two-story building with a community outreach facility and a paved lot used for automotive sales at the site. The School Construction Authority is requesting that the Council approve the site selection for a new school on this site under Section 1732 of the New, new, the new York School Construction Authority Act. Um, before we go on, uh, Council Member Menchaca uh, would like to make a statement. Thank you, um, Acting Chair Rose, and all the members of this uh, committee. Um, before you is an application to approve a site uh, in my district. What I enjoy most about coming to you is that this is not the first time that I've come to you in the last uh, calendar year uh, and in this session that's about to end. The work that the School Construction Authority has uh, not only committed to but demonstrated on the ground with our community uh, has been has been not only productive but has energized a group of parents that have been calling for more seats to be built. Um, this is part of six different sites at different various stages, um, and this will be one of those six schools in the school district uh, or in the council district. What I want to say is that the sites in my district, like so many of you in your districts, it is rare it is rare to find a site that is um, able to be built on. This site, it, like other sites, is not necessarily a, uh, an easy fit. The conversations that have happened in the community board and around uh, the site have been constructive. Um, good ideas have been brought out, including traffic mitigation, uh, including um, the kind of environmental analysis that will have to happen, and SA is committed to making those, uh, those questions uh, become not only understood, uh, but mitigated in this process. I am confident that we'll continue to do that. Um, as, again, we are in process for f uh, five other sites uh, at various degrees. Um, I will say one thing. The, the residents on 36th Street between 5th Avenue and 4th Avenue are also committed in ensuring that the community become a better community. Some of them have school children. Some of them do not. Um, and that is a street that has notoriously been um, neglected by the city and a school site will allow us to talk about a holistic approach to understanding that intersection on Fifth Avenue um, where we have an MTA uh, uh, an MTA bus station uh, uh, depot uh, uh, that is at an active use. This is going to bring the best of the ingenuity of this agency, our community, uh, and this council. So I ask all of you to support this, uh, not just here today in the Land Use Committee, but um, on the stated floor very soon. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Menchaca. Um, and now I will open this public hearing. Uh, and our speakers are Tammy Rachelson from New York School Construction Authority and Gail Mindaro, New York City Construction Authority. And before you begin, please introduce yourselves. Uh, good morning. My name is Tammy Rachelson. I'm with the New York City School Construction Authority. I'm the Deputy Director of Real Estate. And we just want to give you a brief overview for those who are not familiar with the site. Um, we, this is a 19, 000, approximately 19,600 square feet site located on the corner of Fifth Avenue and 36th Street in Sunset Park. And um, this is an overview of the area, Sunset Park. This is the exact location. You'll see in the background the 
maintenance yard for the Greenwood Cemetery. Um, and the building on site is basically, it's a community outreach program and a used car sales lot, you can see, backing up onto the, um, the cemetery property. Um, those are the two tax lots um, that comprise the 19,600 square feet site. Um, and that's a closer look of the used car lot on site and uh, next door the uh, maintenance yard for the cemetery. Um, that's the building directly across the street on 36th Street and also you see the neighborhood along 36th Street. It's primarily residential over there. And that's it and I'm going to go straight into our testimony. And it, um, Good morning, Acting Chairperson Rose and subcommittee members. As I stated, my name is Tammy Rachelson and I'm in the real estate department for the School Construction Authority. The New York City School Construction Authority has undertaken the site selection process for a new public school facility on a site consisting of lots 39 and 48 on block 693 in the borough of Brooklyn in Sunset Park. The site contains a total of approximately 19,600 square feet of lot area located on the corner of Fifth Avenue and 36th Street on a block bounded by 34th Street to the north 36th Street to the south, 5th Avenue to the east, and 4th Avenue to the west. The site is privately owned and contains a two-story building with a community outreach facility and a paved lot used for automotive sales and is located within Brooklyn Community District Number 7 and Community School District Number 15. Under the proposed project, the SCA would acquire the site and construct a new approximately 404 seat primary school. The notice of filing for the site plan was published in the New York Post and City Record on June 12, 2017. Brooklyn Community Board 7 and the Community Education Council number 15 were also notified of the site plan on June 12, 2017 and were asked to hold public hearings on that on the proposed site plan. Brooklyn Community Board 12 and CEC number 15 conducted a joint public hearing on the site plan on January 25, 2017. Comments were not received from the community board and from the Community Education Council. The City Planning Commission submitted comments in support of the site. The SCA has considered all comments received on the proposed site plan and, and affirms the site plan pursuant to Section 30, 1731 of the Public Authorities Law. In accordance with Section 1732 of the Public Authorities Law, the SCA submitted the proposed site plan to the Mayor and City Council on uh, November 29th, 2017 by letter dated, um, excuse me, submitted the proposed site plan to the Mayor and City Council on December 1st, 2017 by letter dated November 29th, 2017. We look forward to your subcommittee's favorable consideration of the proposed site plan and are prepared to answer questions from the committee. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, is anyone else going to testify? I'm Gail Mandara with the New York City School Construction Authority. I'm the Senior Director and Attorney for Real Estate Services, and I'm appearing today just in case you have any questions that I may be able to answer for you. And I'm Tamar Smith, uh, Community Relations Manager for the SCA, also here to answer questions. Thank you. Um, the the um, automotive use on, on this site, um, would it trigger any type of special environmental impact study? We did a full environmental impact study um, and based on previous uses, surrounding uses, there are some environmental issues which we will we'll address prior and during construction of the site. Okay. 
And you said one, one community board did not respond, right? The community board in CEC held a joint hearing, but they did not submit any written comments. And typically, I, and I can't answer for them, but typically that's a good thing. That means they didn't have too many bad things to say, and they didn't put it in writing. Okay, thank you. Carlos, do you have any questions? I just have a, a follow-up. Um, the It was a robust conversation with the community, um, but uh, are there two issues uh, beyond the environmental issues that kind of percolated in the kind of collective conversations? What are those two that you can mention today and how the SCA will respond using um, kind of past practices? Is there anything that kind of pops up? Did you have a sense of two particular? Well, one, uh, the one? traffic mitigation. Uh, this is this is in the, uh, across the across the uh, corner from the uh, the MTA depot, the Gleason depot specifically, um, and down 36th Street between 5th and 4th Avenue, it is a, a decline and there's a lot of speeding issues. And so those are the kind of things that I, I remember from the conversations at the community board joint hearing with the CC. And that, that that's something that I think we're going to have to want to talk about a lot um, in the process for, for community members. Okay. Um, as part of our seeker review, we were sensitive to traffic in the area, and given the fact that the Jackie Gleason bus depot was nearby, um, we studied more intersections that seeker required, and based on that, we are going to be recommending and working with DOT on some modifications to two intersections in the area. Good, and I think that's that's what we want to hear. That's what people want to talk about, and that's something that we can work with DOT in anticipation to just continue to get the 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 flavor of the issues that are that are that are there. Um, and as this becomes more and more public um, in process, we we want to make sure we we get everybody's issues. Uh, we understand everybody's issues as we find the final mitigation plan for for that area. We want to make sure kids are safe when they're crossing um, towards a school. Uh, and on the way home. So, thank you. Council Member Barron. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, the site that you are proposing for the school, who presently are the owners of the land and the property there? Schlesinger Realty. And that you're purchasing it from them? Yes, we've so they're willing negotiated to purchase price with them. Okay, great, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Since uh, we um, lost our quorum, we're going to just take a, a brief pause um, and we'll resume shortly. Are there any other members from the public who wish to testify? Hearing and seeing none, um, I will now close the public part of this hearing. Thank you for your testimony.